In this video, I'm going to be discussing for loops in PHP. Now, with a for loop, the structure is slightly different to a while and a do while loop uh, in the sense that, um, I mean, initially, this would be the structure. So we'd use the for word here, and then we'd have a bracket, and then we'd have our, our, our sort of block here with our text. So I'm going to say this, and I'm going to break. Now, the main difference is with a for loop, um, interestingly, we have several expressions inside. So the first expression is declaring the variable, um, or rather assigning a, a value to the variable that you're going to use for the loop's counter. So for example, um, I'm going to call this num, and I'm going to say this is equal to, uh, let's say, 1. Now, you'll notice that I've used a semicolon at the end of this. That's because we have another expression here and then another expression here. So if you're a bit confused about this, you'll get the hang of it in just a moment when I continue. So, so uh, first of all, num equals 1. So we've assigned the value of 1 as an integer to the variable num. Now, the next thing we want to do is the uh, condition. So the condition, this is the assignment of uh, the variable. Now we're doing the condition. So we're saying this loop, the block is going to run as long as num is smaller than or equal to 10. Okay, so uh, we're starting at 1, and as long as the number is smaller than, so as long as this value here is smaller than or equal to 10, continue to run this block. Now the last thing is the increment, decrement, or whatever goes on in this last expression. So I'm going to say num plus plus. Now, the reason I oh, don't need the extra uh, semicolon there, I'm afraid. <laughs> um, okay, so um, num++ plus plus, um, is going to increment the value of num until it reaches 10, and then the block's not going to be executed anymore. So if we uh, come onto this page and refresh, you can see that this is, uh, is loop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 times. So again, with the previous examples in my other loop tutorials, um, I'm going to get rid of this and I'm going to add the value num and just concatenate that onto a break using the full stop. Using a full stop. So now I can refresh, and you can see we're going from one up to ten. Now, the way this loop works is I've already explained. Um, I've already explained the assignment of the uh, variable, the comparison here, and then the uh, increment, or in fact decrement, if we were to start, say, this at 10 and end this at one, oh, 1. We've essentially now simply just reversed the order. So, oh, no. Um, sorry, that needs to be greater than or equal to 1, obviously, because we're counting backwards. So that's 10 to 1 now. Um, now, the, the essential step that this takes is we do assign and then we check the comparison. As long as this here is true, this expression here is true, then the block is uh, executed, and then we decrement the number. So we're starting at 10, um, this is gonna equal 10. It's not gonna decrement 10 to nine and then display it, if that makes sense. So uh, at this point, after these two expressions, we run the block, then we decrement or increment the number or whatever we are doing to it. So we could say, um, for example, if we wanted to count um, our two times table, we could start the number at two. Uh, let's say we wanted to go up to 20. Um, we can we create that smaller than or equal to 20. So obviously two, uh, 20 is divisible by two. So we can say that it's smaller than or equal to. And then we're gonna say num equals num plus two. Uh, we can squeeze that together just so it's easier to read. Uh, so num equals num plus 2. Uh, now what we're doing is we're starting at 2. Remember, we execute these two first. So num here will equal 2. Then we'll add 2, so that will equal 4, and then 6, then 8. So essentially what we're doing now is we are... Um, reproducing these two times tables so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 up to 20 uh, you can do the same with let's say the uh, I don't know we could say the 10 times table up to 200 uh, and then each time we'd be adding 10 
so it just makes logical sense uh, the way we let out so we've gone all the way up to 200 with the 10 times table so you can see how in a real life example this could actually be useful uh, depending on your desired result but that is essentially four loops in uh, PHP